This semester, we participated in the Biology 150 Honors Module under the guidance of Professor Castillo. Our mission was to explore the intricate relationships between biology and poverty, aligning our efforts with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, particularly the goal of eradicating poverty. With many possibilities, narrowing down our focus proved to be difficult. As we looked into the intersection between biology and poverty, we recognized that there are countless connections between the two. Ultimately, we zeroed in on the effects of poverty on metabolism, which is a subject that resonated closely with what we were learning about in our biology class. We chose to highlight two effects of poverty on metabolic health, hypertriglyceridemia and allostatic load. These conditions, as we discovered, are not only health issues, but also a poignant reflection of the systemic challenges associated with poverty. Hi, I'm Danny. I also helped work on the presentation, and while creating our presentation, Professor Castillo shared valuable knowledge that helped us to present our findings in a way that was engaging to our audience. We learned how to intrigue our audience through thought-provoking questions and compelling visual aids. This ensured that our presentation was more than a dense lecture and was possibly engaging to students. We also learned how to convey what we learned and effectively communicate with our class. It was important to us to spread awareness of the intricacies of hypertriglyceridemia and allostatic load to give perspective on the vast and complex relationship between biology and poverty. Our emphasis on the impacts of poverty on specific body systems, such as the liver, bridge this knowledge gap and foster a broader understanding of the subject matter. As we reflect on this semester, we not only recognize the profound connections between biology and poverty, but also on the art of translating complex scientific concepts into a concise and engaging presentation. We have not merely gained knowledge, we have acquired the skills to disseminate it effectively, inspiring our peers to reflect on their place in the world and the relationship between poverty and biology. Thank you for viewing our presentation and letting us be a part of this as we wrap up our incredible time working on this fellowship for the United Nations to develop sustainable goals on open educational pedagogy at Montgomery College, my heart is bursting with pride and a deep sense of achievement regarding my students' accomplishments. The dedication of all faculty and students involved in the fellowship to creating open educational resources led us on a groundbreaking academic path. In our humble and specific case, sharply centered on the biological and social impacts of poverty. This endeavor has combined the studies of biology and history in an extraordinary way, providing a distinctive perspective on the complex issues surrounding poverty. My students plunge into the intricacies of this topic. They investigated the pivotal links between biological functions and poverty directing their research towards the ambitious goal of poverty eradication at the heart of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The research into how poverty affects metabolism, with a special focus on hypertriglyceridemia and allostatic load, was truly perceptive. It helps to fill a critical void, connecting the societal burdens of poverty with the real health consequences. The student's talent in transforming these intricate biological ideas into a compelling and digestible presentation was outstanding. Their analysis on how poverty affects specific bodily systems, like the liver, demonstrated not just the profound grasp of the material, but also their ability to make science meaningful and relevant. This project was more than a scholarly work. It was a voyage of both personal and shared evolution. The students didn't merely accumulate facts, they honed their communication skills, understood the value of cross-disciplinary thinking, and became acutely aware of the societal obligations that come with scientific exploration. Looking back on this term, I am heartened to realize our efforts at Montgomery College fall perfectly in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The open access quality of our coursework means our discoveries and lessons reach farther than our own walls, 
aiding a worldwide conversation on poverty and its far-reaching effects. In wrapping up, I extend my deepest thanks to my students for their unwavering commitment and ingenuity, to Dr. Mills and Dr. Hernandez for this priceless opportunity, and to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Fellowship for giving us this platform. Collectively, we have achieved more than education. We have farther a noble cause, encouraging broader contemplation of the intricate dance between biology and poverty. <laughs>